so we know that Casey is the number one grimace historian of all time. Of all time. He's all the time. number one grimace biographer. <laughs> and we went through, we had our historians look through different uh, events in Grimace's life. And yep. we just want you to tell us what's going on okay. with Grimace and, and, and how he sort of ended up in the situations he ended up in. So let's go ahead and see the, the first one if we can. So t tell us what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us what's happening here. Please explain this. Yeah. Okay, so it's not what it looks like. So... Uh... <laughs> Do we want to open with it? <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, 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 bro, yeah. I can't believe you yeah. brought something. That's amazing. Crazy. It sounds like you. we should open with it. It's nothing too crazy, bro. I can't even... Whatever it is, yes, it is. Okay, yeah, hold on. Let's not look. Let's not look, because it's about to come up on the whatever screen. Whatever it is, yes, it is crazy. No, I'm so excited. If it's a picture of me in the future, God, I <laughs> oh, swear that's to God, so funny. Casey, I swear to God. All right, Casey. you want to look right now? Are we recording? Yeah. Okay. Is it recording? Yes, sir. Okay, so I just went to Taco Bell. And I, got, <laughs> I, got, I had to take a picture of it. Why? So they have these new chicken cantina tacos, which okay. I was really excited about. Right. And I'm going, okay, that sounds like a delicious treat. And it says <laughs> they're hot. It says they're hot and they're crispy, which is weird to call it crispy because most tacos are crispy. Right? right. They're either crispy or they're soft. Yes, two options. And... <laughs> as most of you know. And so I go, okay, crispy. And I don't know what I was thinking, but that just means it's hard shell. Anyways, so I get two of them, and they're both crushed to shit. Like, they <laughs> seem to, both of them seem like they put them on the counter and, like, <laughs> like crushed them up. Like, what is happening? But it's, it's not, see, it's nothing that exciting. But this, this just happened to me, and Wait, it's very is, concerning. You have not bitten into this taco. No. No. It, came like, that. <laughs> it, se like, it seems like it's where, done intentionally. Well, I don't even know where this piece came from. I don't know either. It doesn't fit. Like, if you want to make it a puzzle it piece, looks, it doesn't it fit looks at like, all. Uh, remember the plate in Breaking Bad where he breaks the plate and he has to like, put it together? Yeah. Bro, that's crazy. It looks like that is a piece from a separate crushed up taco that they're like, we'll yeah. just throw it in together just with this one. throw it in there. It's kind of greasy. Maybe he'll eat that part. Like I'm a dog or like it's a stray dog bone or something. <laughs> oh, this part's kind of greasy. I guess we'll just throw that in there too. And I did eat it. And it, <laughs> I did eat it. I was really hungry. Was it good? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really good. But the, the, the problem, the quandary rather, still yes. stands. Mm -hmm. You fucked up, and you messed my and you messed my day up. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a bad omen. I think that's what they call that. I will, I, I, what I am impressed of most with you right now, Casey, is that you had the wherewithal to to take a picture of the evidence. Oh, I needed a picture. I was like, <laughs> I have to send this to someone, and then thank God. Well, well, yeah, I'm riffing with the boys. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know who I would have told. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll send this to the Taco Bell Rift Division. <laughs> Let's see, see, see what they say. Yeah. <laughs> send it to Vanessa Bell. She needs to take a peek at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we'll send it to Mrs. Bell. Mrs. Bell. <laughs> Kristen Bell. Wait, I can't stop looking at it because I'm just. I know. It it's... also doesn't even look like a Taco Bell taco. Nah, man. It's. Stuff's been moving around with corporate stuff. They're in a major <laughs> shift right now. Yeah. Every, you wouldn't recognize a Taco Bell these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Taco Bell we grew up on. <laughs> I, I, really, I feel like all fast food is like that. All fast food is yeah. like, what is this? You know, it's changing. It's, uh, at the club yesterday, Sam Priggett was asking me if I had a filet fish, and I was like, bro, not since the pandemic. I don't know what it is like now. I can't Damn. give you an I can't give you an honest opinion on the current filet of fish. Yeah. At I McDonald's. He was asking all of us in the group chat. He made it a big thing. Like, thumbs up if you've had and liked the filet of fish Thumbs <laughs> down if you if you haven't had it. Uh, do an exclamation point if you did have it, but you didn't like it. <laughs> like, <laughs> 20 door guys. <laughs> Damn, bro. I've never, I never had a filet of fish I never had a filet of fish You guys never had a filet No one else is in here has had a filet of fish Sometimes fish? you got to stand on business. You know, <laughs> you, you got to make choices in life and you kind of stand on that. What, part, that what part of a fish sandwich from McDonald's does not sound appealing to you That's guys? So gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a fast food fish sandwich doesn't sound good to anybody else in here? Oh, God. No, yeah, I never fucked with filet of fish I'm a hot and spicy baby. And yeah, they put a piece of chicken. American cheese on it, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice square. A nice piece of. <laughs> 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 Can we do a zoom up on my eyes? 
<laughs> I don't uh, like that. <laughs> I can't believe you've been eating filet fish your whole life. I can't stop life. looking at this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> leave it up. We need to uh, yeah, leave, leave it up, bro, because mm. it's something. It is what you said. It doesn't look like they wanted you to snort it. Yeah, yeah, and both of them were like that. It's almost like they're making fun of you. Like, yeah, yeah. you can eat this shit. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It looks like picking up the pieces. <laughs> like They're probably it's... watching you on the camera and masturbating. They're like, I can't believe we got him to eat it. Yeah, I know this might be crazy, but I'm actually that high, Casey. What was your first bite? What was your move? How did you eat this? Mm. I ate the stinker. I ate a pr- <laughs> the stinker's crest. I ate the, <laughs> <laughs> the stinker's crest. The, the, the way gibbous right here. <laughs> <laughs> I started with the gibbous and uh, yeah I mean it seemed like a good natural again this whole situation has been approached the stray dog mentality they fed me like a stray dog and then I ate it like a stray dog because I picked up the little stinky piece and I kind of sniffed it. <laughs> and then I kind of nibbled because so I started there and I was like oh there's cheese on it right, there's cheese I like this I recognize <laughs> so yeah it took me a while to get into the meat of it and the meat man it was goddamn all over the place it was crazy every bite I took it fell apart even further it seemed like I was making no headway you were like Sisyphus pushing the yeah. boulder up the rock you were just like the more I push the further down I get <laughs> every bite there was more taco <laughs> <laughs> so confusing <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Legend. such a crazy feeling. I know that feeling when you take a bite of something and it keeps just adding, just falling apart mm-hmm. so much. Mm-hmm. Falling apart way too much. Yeah. The, first, the first Chipotle burrito I ever had, it was like catered and it was all rice. It was just like a burrito. So I like, <laughs> and like halfway through, the rice just kept falling out. And there was just rice everywhere. I didn't have Chipotle for another like three years after that because I'm like, this shit sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chipotle, Chipotle burrito when you get nothing but mainly rice mm-hmm. and it just kind of they hand you a football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, get, like, you take a bite and you're like, oh, there's nothing worse than taking a bite and there's like, not only did, did you get no meat in that bite, but you don't see meat right. coming. You don't even see meat. <laughs> yeah, you have, there's meat hasn't come up yet. The meat hasn't even come up for air yet, you know, and that's a scary situation. It's a very scary situation when eating food. Yeah, when you get a burrito with a lot of rice, it's the food equivalent of playing beer pong and you're there's like a bunch of girls at the party and you're chasing the ball around (laughs) you know and you're looking all stupid on the floor (laughs) that's the equivalent of eating a burrito filled with rice everywhere Casey why is that so masculine why is it so masculine for a man to look for a ball (laughs) oh and it goes under a couch or whatever Uh you have to be like move your feet or you you gotta lay down flat you gotta flat (laughs) use your legs (laughs) yeah (laughs) The the instinct is to always use your legs in a way that is, you know, it's not possible. Yeah, yeah, you're kind of kicking around for a second, and then eventually you're going to have to bend over. So. I can. I have such vivid memories of that being at parties, and yeah, there's like some cute girl you've been looking at, and the balls bouncing. You <laughs> get the ball like an idiot. <laughs> oh, or even worse, you, you go to pick up the ball and you kick it. You kick it again. Yeah, you yeah. Kick it again. yeah. You're the one who causes more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everyone's already looking at you. Everyone's yeah. already yeah. waiting. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to be a man these days. Val, you just don't understand. <laughs> We don't They'll get never it. Never get it. They don't get it. Dude. <laughs> they can run around and pick up balls all day. I know. Yeah, everyone yeah. thinks they look cute or whatever. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I met my wife. <laughs> She's fucking picking up a ping pong ball. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen when a woman picks up anything. God, guys, uh, we can't do anything. It's so funny to like look at a burrito again. <laughs> I'm really looking like, at it and seeing it's different every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's kind of like the Mona Lisa. Its eyes yeah. follow you wherever it goes. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Because the first time I saw it, the little moon part was faced the other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's never the same. new. It's like that picture where it's a beautiful woman, but if you look from the other angle, it's, it's a an witch. Old, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's an old witch. Yeah. <laughs> what am I? What exactly? Know, it's just, <laughs> it's like a wine glass. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those are great. Oh, man. <laughs> but you know what we saw today, Casey, on the way in? We saw, I, I, and it was such a core memory. And I was, it, we almost hit a, another car because mm-hmm. we saw it. We were driving by the Capitol building, mm-hmm. and it was just like all school buses. Oh, and wow. and you seen all the kids, and it was like, oh, my God, it's that day for them. The where day where go? you go. 
the visit? day we, we go visit something. Oh yeah, because they were all like that age, and I, it was just like, whoa, what an important <laughs> day! And you don't think I was like, they don't know that this is the best day they're ever yeah. gonna have. Right, you'll never forget it. Yeah, I never forgot. Yeah, the museum in Georgia. You go to the World of Coke. They bring you to the Coke Museum. The in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. In Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Bro, yeah. that's such a big museum. They brought us down from Memphis. Six hour drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. How far is that from Memphis? <laughs> it's like six hours. <laughs> I was about to say that's really far. <laughs> we had to stay the night. It was such a big, it was for the Coke Museum. That's hilarious. Oh, but yeah, a big I'm assuming Memphis. that was a big day. Yeah, oh, it was huge. And then everyone, you got to try the different kinds of Cokes and the one from Germany. Ooh, tastes so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was fun. It's, uh, I don't remember. It's a huge-ass building. And now looking back, I don't... What is on every floor? I mean, how many how many things can you talk about <laughs> regarding Coca-Cola? Well, huge. I think the top yeah. floor is all bubbles. Oh, it's all, it? Yeah, it's yeah. all carbonated bubbles. And they had to... <laughs> you were thinking of the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were thinking right, of the button that you float. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Assuming, did you think if you drank the Coke, you would float? Yeah, and there's, there's, there's a guy in a purple suit that takes you around. Yeah, that's Willy Wonka. Oh, uh, damn, yeah, damn. Very common. <laughs> very common. Yeah, mistake. all the kids are screaming, <laughs> drinking carbonated bubbles. <laughs> floating around. God, 300 floating kids. That's scary. <laughs> I don't even like thinking about shit like that. <laughs> y'all aren't y'all aren't from Austin, so have y'all ever been in that Capitol building? Yes, I've Ooh. never been in. Me and Sam have been around it a hundred times. Yes, yeah. walked around it, but I've never been in. Never you went in. Yeah, it's a cool Capitol building. You see, and they have they have a they have a portrait of every single governor Ooh. that's ever that's ever governed Texas. No black people, surprisingly. Uh, <laughs> two women though, one in like the 1920s. I looked it up, and I was like, oh damn, a woman. In the 1920s, she must have been a badass lady, and it turns out she was just a puppet for her husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't like she was like she rose above or anything like that. She wasn't just... she corrupt too? I thought I was. Yeah, really yeah how do you know that? that? I just know a bunch of random facts. I thought there was some scandal. She was like corrupt or something. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah so the husband was corrupt, so that's why they ran the wife. Oh, and it okay. turns out she was just part of the whole corruption. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that doesn't, yeah. it doesn't, It's not like the the wife is like any better. She's a part of the thing. But yeah, that was in the 1920s, and then they had another one, in, they had another woman in the 90s, Ann Richards or something like that, I, I, something yeah. like that. I believe her name was. She was pretty cool. She used to execute a lot of people, I think. That's, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> Casey, how do you know this? I just know I read a lot of Wikipedia's and stuff. Every night, I I I'll normally watch a movie. Yeah. I'll go, oh, I like that actor. I'll look at him. I'll go, oh, that was his brother. I'll go to his brother's <laughs> page, and then I'll go, oh my god, he's from. Nantucket, Canada. I'll look up that city. I'll look up famous <laughs> people from that city. So I'll go down a big rabbit hole. So I know all this random stuff, and then it led me to Ann Richards. <laughs> oh my God! I do the right. same thing, and no bullshit. I always end up in uh, prisons. Yeah. I, 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 every week, I end up in prisons. And what famous prisoners are uh -huh. there? Mm -hmm. I love stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I did that. I did, did that last night <laughs> with a prison like called ADX Florence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's where they hold a lot of the terrorists. Ted, and Ted Kaczynski Ted was Kaczynski, there. Ted Kaczynski, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bombers Row. <laughs> they had five separate bombers in, the, in yeah. that one prison. Yeah. The shoe bomber. The Oklahoma yeah, City there. bomber. Mm -hmm. Both Timothy Oklahoma McVay. City bombers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, the bomb's so nice, they did it twice. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you know something about every single thing that comes up today, I swear to God, bro, I'm going to kill you. I'm very well read. <laughs> but it's, it's just internet stuff is what I read. But, yeah, dude, Florence is crazy. I went to my buddy's house. In Colorado, and he lives on a big mountain, and from the mountain you can see Florence off in the distance. So pretty scary. That's yeah, the whole story. But yeah, wait, Florence, exciting. Arizona, right? No, no, no it's Florence, Colorado. 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 So okay, it's a, okay. it's a it's a max security prison. It's like whatever is above super max is one above that. Yeah, it's like the highest security prison. It's like one of two in America or mm -hmm. something. That's where they yeah. hold like a lot of people, like a lot of spies, also mm -hmm. are there. It's but mostly prison. terrorists. Yeah, you probably feel like such a badass in that prison. I know. In the fucking superhero yeah. prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the supervillain prison. I'm in the yeah. fucking supervillain prison. You're not allowed <laughs> any contact with other people. You have to stay inside 23 hours a day. Oh. It's like, it's like, it's like nuts. It's like yeah. very nuts. Yeah, yeah, It is crazy. Yeah, the Wikipedia is really, yeah. It seems like a human rights violation. It's pretty wild. Yeah. But they're all... <laughs> But meep, 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 meep. <laughs> yeah. very bad. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You kind of forfeit that, you know, forfeit right. Well, that right. Well, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a lot of people who like yeah, who like people. killed correctional officers in the mm -hmm. supermax prison. So they're like, well, we have to. There's a, the, the only place we can send you to is fucking Azkaban. <laughs> so I guess you got to go to Azkaban. 
And yeah, that, that's the. <laughs> it is the only place they'd be able to send him. I didn't even think about that. Right. You kill a guard. Yeah. If you're like, if yeah. you're like, I just kill guards, then you gotta you gotta go somewhere. I kill guards. <laughs> that's a good bumper sticker. I kill guards. <laughs> <laughs> I, kill... <laughs> I break for killing guards. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. When you look up, it's pretty cool. Well, that's where the angel of death was. That guy who they traded for Brittany Griner. He was in Florence Supermax. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they just traded it for Freddie Kreider, which I get. We needed her back. But it, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not being genuine. I get it. I get it. But, he, yeah, I mean, woo, that's crazy. Wait, so I like how the, pre, the pregame for that would be like Brittany Grinder, Baylor University, mm -hmm. and then that guy. Florence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Florence Supermax. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Angel of Death, Florence Supermax Prison. Yeah, damn, <laughs> ADX Florence or whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, there's a Florence, Arizona, where my brother used to live, and uh, they had a Supermax prison there. Whoa. Yeah, and it was, it was, so you would drive by, you see it all the time. And it's so, I don't know why it's impressive to see a prison. Yeah. It is. You see one, and you're like, he said, damn, look yeah. at look look at what all this private money can get yeah. you. <laughs> 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 look at this. Yeah, I always was fascinated as a kid. Yeah, we used to, oh my God, we used to live right next to this old jail in uh, Atlanta, this old, the old Atlanta prison. I don't even think it's, I'm not sure it's operational anymore, but my buddy, one time he took a bunch of acid. I wasn't there, but he, he this is completely true. He took a bunch of acid, had some sort of world ending trip where he's like, I got to get out of here. And it was during a party and he goes in the bathroom, rips the sink out, um, Dewey Cox style. Right, rips the sink out, and um, right, I was right, trying right. to think of what that was from. <laughs> and then he walks out, and he's like, uh, and he runs to the prison, and he starts banging on the doors like he got, I don't even know how he got in. He must have climbed the fence. And he was banging it like, let me in! And uh, the police came out, and they took him to jail. So yeah, he, he was tripping so hard, he ran to jail. And he was like, let me in! They were like, okay. And they took him to jail. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Open come on. Gates. Yeah, you're good. Come on in. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, it's the old Atlanta prison. I don't think it's still a thing, but... Like, I don't think it, they have prisoners in there anymore, I don't think. Pretty scary stuff. <laughs> and the backyard had a baby ghost in it. Yeah, we'll talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a baby ghost. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like a talking. ghost of a baby or a new ghost? <laughs> oh, that's a yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> Mathematically, that is, it's a yeah, phenomenal question. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> the, I believe, from my understanding, the ghost of a baby. Oh, damn. Because in our backyard, we lived at a bad area of Atlanta, and there was a... Atlanta has a lot of woods, and mm. right beyond our backyard was a stretch of woods, and there was an old graveyard back there. It sounds like a Halloween story, but you could only... You <laughs> an could, old graveyard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy thing to say in a sentence. <laughs> an old, stinky graveyard. <laughs> the Nazis talk about what we do and say that. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and we would get letters in the mail, like a graveyard tax, and you could see it. There was only two graves you could see, and one of them was a baby's grave. It was like 1921 to 1922, so it was a really old grave. Mm -hmm. And one night I was making uh, chicken in the crock pot, Frank, Frank's Red Hot, good chicken to put in a quesadilla, and no big deal, and it was so good, and that's not the point, but I was, <laughs> and it was good chicken, and yeah, it was so tasty, but I digress. And so I'm, I'm, I'm there, I'm home alone, and people had like heard, like my friends would be sleeping, and they'd hear people walking in the house, and doors closing that couldn't be closed, like ghost stuff, and... I heard in the backyard what sounded like a cat. I was like, meep, meep. <laughs> I didn't have to do the noise, but. <laughs> and uh, I was like, huh? The dog starts freaking out, running back and forth, sniffing the wall, staring at the ceiling, barking at the ceiling. So scared. Freaking out. Barking at the front door, barking at the back door. And it's a really quiet dog. I've never seen it act like that. And the and the cat noise is going. And then it slowly turns. And I have this realization: it's not a cat. It's a baby crying. And it was a baby crying in the backyard. I swear to it was not a cat. It was a baby crying, like wailing, shrieking, crying right behind the back door, like as if it was crying under the door, like Ooh. screaming. Ooh. And I was just oh, I was so petrified. I was just like standing there. Oh, so scared. And eventually, it, it slowly goes away. The next week, one week later, the same exact time of night, 1.55 in the morning. Same were, chicken quesadilla. Same chicken quesadilla. I was, and not even kidding, I was in there, I would make it once a week, crock pot. <laughs> 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 once a week, delicious Frank's hot crock pot. 
breaks out crock pot and <laughs> and I'm back there and I hear it again. And I go, oh no, it's happening again. Baby cry again. Same time, 1:55 a.m. Saturday book or show stream. Uh, that is bananas, bro. I know. I was very scared. Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh my god, you saw a baby ghost. <laughs> I know. I didn't see it. I would. I didn't want to open the back door. Obviously, scared of what I might see. Some sort of strong baby or something. But. <laughs> Black baby. Black baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is worse than I imagined. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is... <laughs> no. Oh my god. But it's very scary. It's the only paranormal thing that's ever happened to me. It's very scary. But it was a baby, man. It was 100 percent a baby. And I never heard it again. Damn. To this day. That's crazy. Asan, <laughs> do you have anything like that? Do you well, ever yeah. seen ghosts? Because I've never had an experience like that with actual ghosts. Yeah, I would uh uh my old my so the old house that I grew up in the house that I grew up in the guy before us died in the house. Uh oh. And it had some fucking wild energy. Wild. I remember one time I was visiting from college. My parents were asleep in their room. I'm asleep in my room, and I just hear footsteps running down the hallway and then <laughs> slamming the bathroom door. Oh god. That was that was a big one. There was there was one time I was listening. To, I used to listen to the radio before bed. And then one time it just cut out, and then a voice just started talking through the radio, and then it cut back out and went back to the radio, like in the middle of a song. What was it saying? Jumped out. It said, "It said, well, uh, it said something like join me." It said something, something no. crazy. It said something crazy. I remember I was in high school. I was the last time. Like I remember that night I slept in my parents' bed. I was like, "What the fuck <laughs> is happening right now?" <laughs> that shit was crazy. That that I've never felt energy like that in, in that house before. I mean, the comedy store in the dark kind of comes close. But that house was fucking nuts. That was a crazy house. Do you think ghosts haven't come to me because they know, like, oh, this nigga don't play that shit? Like, this guy, this guy, <laughs> he, don't, he don't fucking play that shit, bro. Like, they're nervous. They're like, yo, don't fuck with Derek. Don't play. Like, he don't, he don't play it. Well, so, so, yeah. Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. So, you know, how, you know how there's a lot, a lot of white people are afraid of black people? Imagine being the most white person. <laughs> and that's what ghosts are. I think that's what it is. It's just fear. <laughs> 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 you're, saying, you're saying physically white, like translucent? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. That's that's the whitest you can be. Yeah, yeah. it's about as white as it gets. Yeah, yeah translucent is pretty. <laughs> Did you see anything scary at the comedy store? No, I felt energy. I felt an energy. I remember being in the, I think I told this to you the other day, I, I was in the OR early, like really early, because mm -hmm. I was doing some sort of writing thing. And I was setting up the chairs, you, to, you know, like we did, like you do with the mothership, mm -hmm. set up the chairs, then, and, I, and I was alone like four in the afternoon, and the overwhelming energy was like, get the fuck out of here. Whoa. Like the room was telling me to get the fuck out. I, I was frightened. I was like, oh, oh, I gotta wow. leave. I couldn't stay. And you stopped setting up chairs immediately and left mm -hmm. the room? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, wait, I waited till the shift, like the night shift came, and then I restarted resetting up. Damn. Mm -hmm. Wonder what would have happened. Some sort of vortex. Yeah, <laughs> just just that intense, you know, just that fear that it just, mm -hmm. just you know, you know when you feel like you're being watched. Yeah. It felt like that. Yeah. We were camping one time in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. We were camping on BLM land, so like government land, you on know. Black Lives Black Matter. Matter land? <laughs> That's crazy. Bacon, lettuce, mayonnaise land. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this, this is pre BLM, so we were like really early on it. We were, <laughs> we were like, you know, just really excited. We could tell, you know, <laughs> we wanted to help and. <laughs> <laughs> so you were camping with your fists up yeah, the whole time? Just, yeah, sleeping, fists up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to make a change. And, uh, <laughs> but we, this is a weird ass story. So we were in a Walmart and um, we were like in the camping section and this guy walks up to us. This is, makes, whatever I just say, makes no sense. Mm -hmm. This guy walks up to us and he's like looking at something and he turns and he's he has like albinism, like he's albino, mm -hmm. but he has some version of it where his eyes are red. Mm -hmm. There's a disease where it makes your eyes like oh, it was so scary. And he's a wolf. It was, it was like whoa. It was like really <laughs> jarring. We we're like looking at flashlights or something. Like, oh, yeah. oh! And, uh, um, <laughs> and he was like, "You boys looking to do some camping?" And uh, this sounds like a goosebumps thing or something. And we we're like. 
yeah. Like, I don't know why. We should have just been like, no. And uh, <laughs> he was like, there's this great property you should go camp on. And for some reason, we did. We're like, oh, that sounds good. Scariest guy I've ever seen. And, oh, you seem like you know a lot about abandoned properties. Scary ghoul, man. And yeah, so we went and we went and camped in this place called, we didn't figure out to the next day, but it's called Diablo Canyon. Canyon. So it's literally Devil's Canyon. Yeah. And it's in the middle of the desert in Santa Fe. And we're setting up and. We we're about to camp, and there's no stars, and there's no insects. It's completely silent. We're in the middle of the desert. No insects, no noise at all, no light, completely dark. And we both were setting up, and we, yeah, we got that feeling of like, oh, no. Like something. Like mm -hmm. something changed. Like we felt fine. We were like, oh. Mm -hmm. My friend was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then we, like, we weren't crying, but then we went to a Motel 6. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scarier place. Yeah, it's like out it's of the scary. frying pan into the fry fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Motel 6, it was really scary. Actually, the, yeah, the next day I went and saw Hereditary for the first time. So it was just a scary weekend. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Scary weekend. <laughs> I was the only one in the theater, and when the movie would go, you know how it does that? Right. I would go, stop. Like, that's someone <laughs> messing with me. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> to be able to do it, stop. Stop. Uh, I'm not kidding. I yelled. So I was the only one in there. <laughs> so I thought it was like an usher fucking with me. So right. Stop. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's so, so crazy. That's pretty wild. Oh, damn. Weird place. There yeah. was one time here that after you we recorded, we were like closing down and it gotten late. It was like a late night and, um, yeah, Josh and I like hear a door, and he goes, "Fuck no!" Like people sometimes walk in, like we gotta make sure. So he walks up there, and he was like, "There's nobody. Oh, there's nobody no. here, and there's nobody in the cameras." <coughs> but like, we both heard like a door closing. It's the black rabbit. It's the black rabbit. Black rabbit. It's the black rabbit. It's the black rabbit. It's the black rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> he comes. He comes at noon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. Yeah, that is. I'm trying. To, I don't have any like paranormal like where, where I felt where you felt like someone was yeah, watching well, you. Yeah, I've never. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess because uh, the comedy store sometimes you'd go get the ladder. Like you'd have to change the marquee. Mm -hmm. and you'd have to do it late at night, so the main room would be shut down already. So the lights would be down, yeah. but you have to go to the back of the main room in the dark to get the ladder, and that would be scary. But also, it just was scary not because of. No, it's because someone could be. It was back just there. People like, I, mm. this is just a dangerous place. Right. <laughs> it's just, we let homeless people come in right. all the time and they right. sleep here. Right. So <laughs> it was more scary just because it was scary. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? legitimate threat. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, you forget that it's like, was this paranormal? It's like, no, you just, people kill people. Right. <laughs> and you get nervous about that. So freaky. People would try to sleep in there. Oh, yeah, oh, people yeah. would sleep there. How, where would they hide? Uh, I know Trey would sleep Teddy something before people. You, you can just like I guess if you, if you hid well, and stayed in. Th there was a there was a time <laughs> where they didn't have they didn't they didn't get the comedy store didn't get security cameras till 2015. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's I think wild. I think that's a, that's an important note. Yeah. It took him that long to get so security funny. cameras. Bro, LeBron had already left the Heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was back in Cleveland. It's a good marker of time. Yeah, <laughs> it's the only way I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My time starts from 2003 to now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and once he's done playing, I don't know. What, I don't know how I'll age. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a portrait of Dorian Gray situation. Like, <laughs> keeping you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, we brought you here for a reason today, Casey, uh, to do a podcast. I'm happy to do it. Yeah, that, yeah we didn't record any of that. That was yeah. for us. That was just for us. This is warm up. Uh, but we have a game assigned. I think we should. Just, I think we should jump right into the game. You want to jump right into the I game? I think we should jump right into the fucking okay. game. Okay, uh, Casey, we have a game for you. Let's Val. Let's bring it up. Explain the rules. Okay, so we know that Casey is the number one grimace historian of all time. Of all time, he's all the time. number one grimace biographer. That's three right. time, yeah, three time historian champ, two time runner up champ, which yes. is weird that you lost twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, the, the, but, but <laughs> been there five times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were some dark times. Yeah, <laughs> so, I did a grimace podcast for <sighs> six years. <laughs> I did over one hundred episodes about grimace. This is pre McDonald's milkshake. I was at the front lines. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> I know I about all there is to know about the big G. So if if there's any questions, if you want to. You know, if you want me to figure out where he is, I think I could do that. Right. So, so we we're doing where in the world is Grimace uh, Santiago here, <laughs> and we went through. We had our historians look through different uh, events in Grimace's life, and yep. we just want you to tell us what's going on 
Okay. With Grimace and, and, and how he sort of ended up in the situations he ended up in. So l let's go ahead and see the, f the first one if we Give can. Give me one second. Are you ready? I used okay. to love that. So t tell us what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> tell us what's happening here. Please explain this. Yeah. Okay, so it's not what it looks like. So, uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. This seems like pretty definitive evidence. <laughs> um, Grimace was, oh my God, he was doing this kite running competition. Do you know the kite runner, the book? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he was doing a kite runner thing. <laughs> And he had all the kids from all the boroughs, Brooklyn, East Side, Greenwich Village, <laughs> wow, yeah. uh, Manhattan, Soho. Mm -hmm. So everyone came out to fly the big G. They're flying the big Grimby. And he had such a good day. This was Tuesday, March 25th, 2008. And mm. <laughs> this was in 2008. 2008. And we're and we're sure we're sure about it being in 2008. Uh, uh, well, not like not exactly like that. It was it was basically um, Tuesday, March 25th, 1994. Uh, okay, that kind of so, makes a little more oh, sense. Actually, because I was thinking, it's like, oh, maybe he has. I don't know if you've seen the show Blues Clues, the uh -huh. power to jump into paintings. Oh. Also, this is jumping into a painting situation. I don't know Grimace's <laughs> full capabilities. <laughs> 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 Like how, uh, you know, and they jump in the painting, they're like a swirl, but he's so rotund. He just kind of just like, <laughs> he like barely moves. He kind of rolls into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah that's kind of how he talks. So he's doing a kite runner thing, and he that was the day he founded Jersey Mike's. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Really? So did he like float into Jersey after he got cut down? Or yeah. Whatever? yeah. Really? Damn. He did cartoon style. He smelled probably. The best Philly chicken cheesesteak sandwich he's ever smelled. <laughs> and so he starts floating to. Boo -doo 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 -doo! And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh just screaming. <laughs> and it's at a different octave, too, so the window's <laughs> shattering. And uh, he got down there and he found this quaint little su sub shop, the Upper East Side. Mm -hmm. And it was a quaint little tasty number, one of New York City's best hidden gems. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, he found the owner and he um, made him an offer um, of one gun for one store. And he <laughs> pointed a gun at him and, and took the store. And so the owner didn't get the gun. <laughs> oh my! Where did he get the gun? No, the owner didn't get the gun. If it was an offer for a gun for the store, <laughs> no. no. So Grimace kept the gun. It's good, good businessman. The offer was basically a one to one. I point the gun, you leave. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a one to one business trade. <laughs> Uh, secondary offer, I point the gun again, you sign over the deed to me. <laughs> and so, yeah, he became Jersey Mike, and that was the day. Oh my God, I forgot about that. That was the day they filmed Spider Man 2. <laughs> damn, oh, in, in, in 94, crazy. Yeah, that's that's so, damn, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wait for the graphics to catch up. It was like the Star Wars prequel situation <clears throat> where, you know, yeah, it was him, it was Doc Ock. God, Alligator Man. <laughs> 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 Tobus McGuire. Tobus, of course. Tobus. <laughs> now, some people say they use this picture as a as proof that he converted to Islam. Do you think is is Grimace Muslim? That's a big question on people's minds. That's a good question. He's, you know, traditionally Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, spiritually anarchist, but <laughs> um, traditionally Muslim. Um, yeah, he converted. Yeah, he was born. <laughs> he was uh, born a Pentecostal, but he, he converted for love. Oh, that's so yeah. beautiful. Nancy Reagan was Muslim, and he married her. Yum. <laughs> so beautiful. Wow, bro. It's so it's crazy when you see a picture, because we all see pictures all the time. Mm -hmm. But to... <laughs> We do, don't we? <laughs> we all see pictures every day, I think. I'm assuming, you know? yeah. There's pictures everywhere. But to know a picture. Mm. Yeah. To know a picture. <laughs> that's, that's 
you know, and what's the true really beauty going of on. photography. Right. Yeah. I know. Crazy. Yeah. All right, let's, let's, well, let's, before we move on, can I ask you one more? What's that? Like, what's that guy doing? You know what I mean? Like, look at this picture. Like, oh, there's a guy in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. It's just cool. It's, it's great. cool to think about. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what exactly is going on here? <laughs> This was, uh, yeah, this was Grimace at Tiananmen Square. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this was back when Grim Grimace was getting his undergrad. He was at the oh University University of Beijing, I believe. <laughs> and he was uh, studying and playing lacrosse. Oh, go, go Beijing Brawlers. Go Brawlers. <laughs> Wait, what's a Brawler? <laughs> Go Brawlers. <laughs> he was getting his undergrad. This is before he did his doctoral thesis. And mm -hmm. yeah, he was, uh, well, he well, he went to the student union and he saw these protests going on. Times were changing. Right. And Grimace used to carry around. There's really funny pictures of him actually with an acoustic guitar. And he used to play around campus and kind of play these protest songs. And mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of Bob Dylan style. Yeah. <laughs> People call Grimace the Bob Dylan of the 80s. So. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people say A lot of people, a lot of people yeah, say you know what? I have heard that. I yeah. have heard that. I absolutely okay. have heard that. Well, I thought Bob Dylan was around in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So Grimace starts playing these awesome songs like Thunderstruck and like... <laughs> 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 Classic protest song, Thunderstruck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah really really cool stuff fast car tracy chapman that was originally grimace's first song oh, oh really my. damn that's pretty word. cool <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean it's no surprise that a crowd gathered <laughs> and, and, uh, and he started you know Passing around these pamphlets about like how the Chinese government was like suppressing like student like whatever <laughs> happened. Yeah, yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. <laughs> was re was really getting just really keeping the brawlers down. Yeah, yeah. The government was keeping the brawlers down, and Grimace was all brawler. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, yeah, you love that. You love school pride. Pro oh, brawler. He's so pro brawler. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they call in the heavies. And <laughs> sure enough, you know, fucking National Guard comes fucking screaming down. Johanna Avenue and uh, fucking there's Garlo fucking D's and T's and P's and fucking nips out toes up <laughs> toes up dick dick out <laughs> fucking cock out nips up and uh, yeah he fucking stopped them in their tracks and, uh, holy shit yeah they all went and got a big fucking breakfast burrito it's awesome <laughs> now now what was Grimace studying at Beijing University. Yeah, University of, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah University, University, University of Beijing. Beijing. Yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Go oh, Brawlers. It's, yeah. it's uh, BU. Yeah, Beijing U. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was doing microbiotics. So microbiotics. <laughs> so it's like tiny machines. <laughs> microbiotics. So it's like tiny things. In your body? In your body and like how to make like small robots that you can eat. Mm, yeah. Okay, okay. And then what was the name of his PhD thesis? Oh, yeah, that's easy. That's funny you bring that up. Um, it was actually called The Biggest Dog I've Ever Seen. <laughs> um, it was called The Biggest Dog I've Ever Seen and what it meant to me. So <laughs> it was really cool. It was just basically like, because he minored in poetry, so it was like this story about how like we're all dogs and like the owner is like, like the feds, like the government. Oh, the government. Mm. And like they're feeding us scraps. And so it was like kind of a political like state. Wow, so he's always been like a political guy. So this mm -hmm. isn't even far-fetched for him to be in this situation. Absolutely not. Yeah, he's been doing stuff like that for 25 years. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Before that. Before that? After. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. And after. He retired in, I think, 2018. Yeah, he just... It's time for the younger generation to have it. Yeah. Right, the, t the times there are changing, as the original Bob Dylan would yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before we move on, one question, because you know you know everything Grimace. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this picture, and even from scale, size-wise, how how big is he? Yeah. he? He seems like, because he's almost the size of a tank. He's pretty close. Yeah, do you know his height and weight? Like, do you know the size of him? Yeah, he's 7'1", tall, he's 4' foot wide. His, <laughs> his width is a leg's length. Mm -hmm. And his his mm -hmm. his mouth is a football's wide. Oh his eyes are basically softball size. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> and his hands are like half a cantaloupe. Yeah, so it's mostly fruit measurements is how I do it. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the easiest way to kind of explain it, like a good like fall cantaloupe, like yeah, yeah. not like a spring, can, like a good big uh, robust one. One hundred percent. Oh wow, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. And yeah, it, God, weight probably fucking eight hundred potatoes. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so that's four sacks. Yeah, that's four sacks. Yeah, two hundred two oh sacks. <laughs> so I heard you say they all got breakfast burritos after this. So they're all friends after this. That's the power of grimace. He's yeah. able to turn that. Wow. He calmed him down. <laughs> and he did that cool thing that um, I've seen happen before where he he fucking gets all mad and he takes the end of the tank and he ties it into a knot. Oh, mm. my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like the scene in the Incredible, Ed Norton, Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Something like this. I was wondering where I've seen something like that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then also he he well he threatened to do it, but he said voodoo doo doo, and that means uh, you know if you fire, I'm gonna fucking twist that bastard right back in your face, oh, wow. Wiley Coyote style. You mm. speak grimace, voodoo doo. <laughs> that answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's basically what he sounds like. There's only been a couple instances of him speaking on audio in human history, but there's a commercial with Trump. That he did it in the 80s. You seen this? No, no, go ahead. Tell us Tim about and it. Trump. It's a real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, please look this up. It's real. Yeah. Me, please look this up. <laughs> I, and Trump, I think Trump asked him something, and Grimace goes like, <laughs> It's like, <laughs> So <laughs> he, he can't he goes, really speak. He goes, What? Uh, he goes hold like, on. Bah, bah. I think this happens. Oh, can you? can we get the sound? Or is it through your headphones? Yeah. Through my headphones. Okay, so we'll 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 play this we'll play the sound over the recording. Tell us if he makes any noise. What's your secret? He's kind of got a cockeye too. His eyes a little wonky. One dollar. One dollar. Oh man, Good God. Times they are changing. Chicken sandwich bread. Dollar man, man. Oh, he actually touched him. They were friends. Yeah. Damn. Before so you know. I've <laughs> 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 never seen that part. That's crazy. Oh, now, does Grimace speak? No, he didn't He didn't make any sound. Oh, but but that, that, that speaks to what you were saying. He is political. Oh, yeah, dude. Wow. That's he's a, been political. He's been political. Mm -hmm. Until 2018. Until 2018, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he kind of gave it to the next generation. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let's see. Oh, let's, Val, can we go to the next one, Let's please? go to the next one. Okay, so now, oh, cool. this is... <laughs> I've heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you forgot about this one. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to me, he seems very happy to be putting the pike into Jesus' side. What's going on there? <laughs> yeah, from all indication, he does seem pretty fucking thrilled. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I won't lie to you, he seems pretty jazzed about this whole thing. And look at this guy go, Grimace, no, stop. <laughs> yeah. Dear God, Grimace, he's, he's had enough. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And look at these three. These three people are disgusted with I his behavior. Yeah. Truly disgusted with his behavior. <laughs> They're fainting. So tragic. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. And he's standing on a fucking horse's neck. Yeah. The, the horse yeah, is the horse probably going to die. That's a 7 one 800 potato guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on his neck. yeah, back then, I mean, he was probably seven, eight, nine hundred potatoes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was an eating rate all the way mm. up. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, a lot of focaccia bread, like <laughs> oils, <laughs> like old Greek ancient oils and stuff. He loved oils. He still loves oils. But yeah, so that's when, uh, God, I think that's when he killed Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is what it looks like. Sometimes you can't. You know, yeah, no, it sometimes it's like. exactly what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yep, he went ahead and gave him a quick stab. <laughs> yeah, well, he was on a, a handball team with Pontius Pilate, and so <laughs> they started, like, kind of, like, laughing. I have, like, some audio from this. But <laughs> I can't play it right now, but I can show you later. But, yeah, yeah. it's, like, they're, like, laughing, and they said, like, wouldn't it be funny, like, to fucking kill that guy? And, um... <laughs> Grimace like it's like hell yeah that's funny and, uh, <laughs> so yeah they ended up actually murdering him in cold blood um, so it's pretty cool um, for some <laughs> for some um, well, oh. that guy's really going through it <laughs> yeah they all look like they're kind of going through it yeah. 
true. Yeah, I don't know if anyone has it any better. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's actually kind of cool to pose this guy in a pose of like <laughs> I'm already in trouble. So yeah. it's a hand open. <laughs> I have a question: Was Grimace involved in all this, or did he walk up, see it happening, and just jump in? Just jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! So he didn't even know. Who, he didn't know that this was. Well, him and Pontius Pilate had, had kind of joked about it, but then yeah, Grimace. I think he was going to like get some rocks or something like for breakfast, and then he <laughs> saw. He was like, where, where? and he like saw this commotion. <laughs> And so he, you know, snor- snorkeled up there and uh, saw this shit going on. Yeah, and he just found the nearest stick and kind of <laughs> beat the hell out of his ribs. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even sharp. It was like a kendo oh stick. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> a sharp stick? That's a- <laughs> oh, my God. Just wailing on him. <laughs> he pierced skin. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he really, he's got some girth behind it. Yeah. <laughs> he tossed that bastard. Ooh. Oh. Tough break. (laughs) (laughs) How does Grimace feel about like his role and like the sort of how big Christianity is today? He's tried to downplay it. (laughs) 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 Yeah, well, he's a super humble guy. Because he knows, um, God, what is that old adage? He, He says, you know, if you want... If you kill someone, you'll make them a martyr. Like, you know, shame someone, you'll <coughs> make them a pussy. Kill someone, you'll make them a martyr. Yeah, I've read that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really big shame quote. Shame someone, you'll make them a bitch. Kill them, kill them make them a martyr. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's, a, that's a really big quote. Yeah. yeah. So that's what, yeah. And then, yeah, so he was like really, really fucked. Up. And <laughs> yeah, so, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but he's so fucking humble, man. He was talking about <laughs> yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah. He denies. Pretty much ever being there, but there's a carbon footprint. Wherever he goes, you can see the, for 100,000, 200,000 years, you can still see the radiation. <laughs> it stays in the rocks around there. Right, oh. right. It's like a blast, it's like an impact zone wherever he walks. That makes sense. So he's, he's kind of like Dr. Manhattan. So, like, all his loved ones get like cancer. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's too radioactive. So, he's kind of just alone in life. this world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Oh, about as. as and look at him as smiling as through the pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus is Jesus is clearly dead at this point. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you can tell like, Grimms is really just I know. going through it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's those dead fucking eyes, man, wailing on his ribs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brutal. Val, can we go to the next one, please? Whew. That's tough. All right, oh so. my God. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here, Case? That was the first time he ever fell in love. Oh, wow. And the first one, that's always the most special. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. You never forget. No matter if it wasn't exactly what you call real love, that first time you feel it and you go, what is that? Why is that make me feel like that? And what do I do now? It's pretty fucking rad. It's powerful. He met this dude at the docks. His name is Little Steven. And he was, a, he was a fish crusher. And so little Steven was like renowned in like Broward County, like for having the most fish per capita. And Grimace, of course, smelled something real stinky. So he wanders down there and he got caught in a crate. They thought he was like, I guess, some sort of like rhino or a hippo. Mm-hmm. And I think they thought he was a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to sell him to P.T. Barnum. They want to say it's a two legged hippo. It's an upright hippo. Upright. Know, it's so rare. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so rare. And who could blame him? And yeah, they were going to sell him to P.T. Barnum and, and uh, the Barnum and Bayless Circuit. And um, yeah, so he gets in there and of course he busts out. And uh, he fucking finds this guy, little Steven, who had the fish. And basically, fish sent to him is like pheromones. So mm. he really liked this guy because he stunk so bad. Right. And they met and they wrote what could only be described as the best song of all time, Killing in the Name of by <laughs> Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote it together. And they played it for the first time with the violin band. And that night was the first time ever it had ever been sung or played. Damn. Wow. And it was so exciting. That's so... <laughs> I know. I know. It's cool. You can also see a glimmer of, of, in his eyes here that's different than the, the Jesus stabbing. Because mm-hmm. that glimmer was, uh, you know, a glimmer of, like, something dark and something, he, whatever he was going through. But this is a glimmer of, like, wow, he's really in love. He's really happy. Yeah, he's never looked better. 
Yeah, he's never. I've, I've honestly never seen him look better. Yeah. Back. I mean, this is he's probably only four or five hundred potatoes here. Oh, and, so he's uh, his best weight too. Yeah, he's at his <laughs> lowest <laughs> weight. <laughs> and uh, God damn, this was probably his happiest. But before he went to bed, Grimace was trying to put earplugs in, and he had two uh, phosphorus grenades um, in his book bag, and he accidentally pulled the pins, and it blew a big hole in it, and the ship ended up sinking, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> like thousand people died or something. And now, now uh, <laughs> about the sinking, this, and, this is, and this is really interesting. There's a lot of people, and this is very controversial, that mm-hmm. to say that Grimace had enough room on the door for <laughs> little Steven to get on. That's actually a misnomer, because Grimace, uh, he was way too big for the door, so the door was basically just like a little handkerchief to his bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's basically just a little handkerchief. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was not even enough room, basically, for Grimby, but Grimace is very buoyant, so he was floating around. <laughs> he was floating around kind of great white shark style. <laughs> but, but it's his head, not the fin, so it's just like, It's <laughs> kind of teeter-tottering in the water. Mm-hmm. How did he really not cool. freeze? The water, they say the water was below 30. It's all blub, baby. Whoa. It's all blub. He's built like a whale. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all blub, baby, and it's all love. <laughs> it's and, all blub, and love. <laughs> and in this time in his life too, what was his relationship with Billy Zane? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah, so they actually, uh, yeah, fuck man, they went to the police academy together, and <laughs> so they were both a uh, former LAPD. <laughs> oh, so it was pretty cool. So you know, like brothers in arms, man, like they were out there, <laughs> <laughs> like end of watch type shit. Like they were out there, fucking. Rampart, they're part of the Rampart scandal in mm. LA. <laughs> That's a good Wikipedia you can look up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did a lot of underground shit and uh, a lot of shit that's still not going to come out for many, many years. So. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cool. I love secrets. So. <laughs> Oh wow! This but is yeah, beautiful. Uh, stinky, uh, stinky Jim or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> stinky Johnny. <I> <laughs> Little Stephen. Little Stephen. <laughs> not, not stinky Johnny. Stinky Johnny's a different guy. Uh, yeah, Little Stephen. Unfortunately, he passed away. Glaucoma. <laughs> <laughs> Young <laughs> glaucoma, the silent while, killer. While yeah. the ship was sinking, the yeah. glaucoma got him. <laughs> yeah. so he was on his last legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and nineteen to die of glaucoma. Glaucoma related <laughs> glaucoma. Uh, yeah. Jeez. that's so rough. I know. <sighs> Next one, Val, please. That's so tough. Whoa. Now, so now we know this happened before the comedy store got security cameras. That's the one thing I can know about this yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one thing we 100% know about this picture. Yeah, this yeah. much we know for sure. Yeah. So, so what's, what's, what's going, going on here? here? Yeah, what's going yeah. down? Uh, he took this bozo off the dribble. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> he, he got caught off the screen and he didn't cover fast enough. Yeah. Grimace is all about triple threat offense. So oh. he loves, you know, he keeps the ball. Right here, mm-hmm. when you have it like that, he'll palm it, just one hand. Because mm-hmm. he can't exactly get his kind of a T-Rex situation. He can't get them both together at the same time. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, right. Of course, that's so right. he's got to always cut yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny imagining him dribbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It'd be pretty easy between the legs, relatively, but his legs are so petito. Yeah. yeah. But he shoots upward, his trajectory. It's actually, it's called the G, it's called the Garlo conundrum. Mm-hmm. It was in a filing by Princeton. You can look it up. And uh, it's a new theoretical physics. It's still not proved, but he <laughs> propels upward. He's built like a box spring. Okay. So his legs jam into his spine, mm-hmm. and it <laughs> jacks him up mm-hmm. 17 or 18 feet every time he even looks up. He'll pop up. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, something about mind and body being connected in that way. Like, wherever he looks, he moves kind of instinctually. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So if he looks up, yeah, he's fucking gonzo. Good luck. Uh, yeah, so he fucking jammed it big on number one, two, and yeah, fucking brought it home for the good guys. Wow, with the assist from D. Wade. Yeah, Wade was there. Are they still friends? Do they, do they still keep in touch? I know they haven't mm-hmm. played together in years. They have not played in a long time. Yeah, Grimace, you know, he had bad knees, and yeah. he went out. Kind of a Brandon Roy situation. <laughs> Is that, he, was, he was really great while he was there, but his knees just couldn't hold up. <sighs> couldn't. Quite take on it. Wasn't really ready to take on that sort of sixth man role yet. And yeah. he's young. And who could blame him? And he played overseas for a while for Barcelona. And 
But yeah, this was I think his second his second championship. <laughs> he played in Barcelona. He played in Barcelona. And, uh... Oh my God, that's a true love for the passion, like love of the game. I know. Yeah, he will. He was on uh, the nineties. 95 Houston Rockets team, I think that won with the Olajuwon. Oh, wow. So his career was long, almost 20 years. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) He's playing a long ass time. But I get still a Brandon Roy situation because a grimace, uh, most grimaces, uh, you're supposed to play like 70 years, right? So it was a short career in in the span of a human long, (laughs) span of a grimace. Yeah. No, yeah. But basically a cat's blank. (laughs) Basically a cat's blank. Um, (laughs) Well, grimaces are. Uh, structurally like lobsters, so they really don't exactly age. Yeah, mm. Oh. Mm. but his knees gave out. So he he received a lot of flack for that that special taping you did, the decision. <laughs> how how did he respond to that? Was he okay with stepping in the role of the villain for the first time since he killed Jesus, or <laughs> like how did, how, did, how did he handle That's that? True. In between the Jesus thing to him going to play for the Heat. Mm-hmm. He was kind of beloved in between that point. That all those years, he was beloved. Yeah, and then yeah, for him to turn heel like that, I think was I think it came, you know, because looking back now, he's you know he's gone the other way again. Everybody loves him again because mm-hmm. of the shakes and all the shakes, because <laughs> <laughs> the no shakes and that. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, for the he yeah he really turned heel. I think that came from management. But he you know I think he fit right into that role. He's killed hundreds of people. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> You know, uh, pretty much at will. The, yeah, a lot of that uh, <laughs> Kamar Rouge, that Cambodian stuff. Oh, uh, that, that was, was him. a lot of him. Yeah, he was in the Killing Fields? Pol Pot, yeah. Wow. Pol Pot, <laughs> yeah, man. He fucking, God. Killed and Pol Pot up. is the emperor, if I'm not mistaken, who killed, like, millions of people, right? Oh. Or hundreds of thousands, right? Yeah, a he lot. killed, like, a million people, yeah. Million people? Mm. He killed all the intellectuals. With the help of Grimace. With the help of Grimace, okay. Yes. Yeah, he's part of that. I, I heard that anytime Grimace sees a person in glasses, he still gets, like... A little bit amped. <laughs> yeah, he thinks it's pole. <laughs> yeah, he'll you know, get, you know, get excited. Yeah, he thinks it's Mr. Pot, and then he'll, then he'll realize slowly. It's, yeah, he's kind of has like late onset Alzheimer's, oh. so he'll like go and uh, then he'll realize, oh, it's not pole pot. It's someone smart, and he also hates people who are smart. So he'll start right. punching. Really? Yeah, he'll start punching and kicking and biting. And he has a small gun that he keeps in a, <laughs> in a little purse that he keeps on his back. He keeps a camel back. He loves to stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. And uh, he has a gun there that he uses on whoever he wants. So he was Gilbert Arenas before Gilbert Arenas. Yes. He was bringing a gun in the locker room <laughs> oh, wow. in his camel pack before that whole Gilbert <laughs> Arenas situation. Because you said he played with the Rockets. Well, wow. Well, well, look, yeah. Fascinating. Let's, let's give him a little credit. He did win two championships. So it's not three. like, yeah. oh, he won three. Oh, well, he was on the Heat team before this as well, right? He won two with the Heat. Mm-hmm. Right. He won one with the Rockets. One with, one with the Rockets. Rockets. Yeah. I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, he won the two. Three. Now, he also lost a couple, you know. Mm-hmm. The, He's got three fingers. The so. Mavericks. He just has three fingers. Yeah, he lost a couple with the, yeah, with the, the Mavericks. Mavericks. He was on the 76ers team, team with Iverson. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was on that. He lost to Kobe. Mm-hmm. Does he still hate Dirk? Oh, Frumps. my God. Don't get him started on Dirk. <laughs> 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 God, the forums are gonna have a field day with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go to the next one, Val. Let's go to the next one. We don't even want it. That's great, yeah. yeah. He can't stand dirt. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> little petito. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking getting his hooch on. That's awesome. Yeah, Grimace, well, um, I'll go out and say it. He was responsible for the death of Jimmy Hoffa. So <laughs> he was, um, well, he was big. He was pro union. Mm-hmm. He was a teamster. Yeah, but Hoffa rubbed him the wrong way, <laughs> and because uh, Grimace can't do H's or O's or F's or A's, <laughs> so he couldn't <laughs> say it, and it made him mad. He could basically only go Pudo, and so it's like B O H kind of. But he's trying to say Jimmy Hoffa. He's trying to, but he can't. So Hoffa would go, "What are you saying, kid? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Who are you?" And. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> who, who let you in here? And uh, yeah, so this was a kind of this is right before moments before tragedy. This is before it all. Oh my god! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I can feel their pain. No. <laughs> oh. oh god! This is right before it happened. Wow. Sorry, we didn't expect this to get so emotional. It's okay. <sighs> this is before Grimace. Uh, oh my God! Take no. your time. Take it's your okay. Time. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I might have to get some water. I'm a little parched. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's on my dashboard. Um, yeah, this is when he offered them all contracts. They're all looking at the paperwork mm -hmm. oh, wow. to come work for him. And he loved big business. And <laughs> this is the day he founded Purdue Pharmaceuticals. Oh, what? Whoa. I know. This is the beginning of an era. These are construction workers. These are the people he would target. Coal miners, construction workers, people with long-term habitual injuries to get them hooked on Oxycontin. And he would pay them an Oxycontin and snakeskin boots. And um, <sighs> yeah, they're kind of looking up, oh, one year, 400 Oxycontin. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, my God. Grimace. I know. I know. I just never really thought about it. And that was his best friend, Arsenio. Arsenio. <laughs> yes. Mm. And this is, this is, Arsenio. And he got his best friend, Arsenio, hooked on Oxycontin as well? No, Arsenio was, he was cool, man. He okay. was cool. Oh, that's okay. cool. That's no, dope. he's all good, man. Yeah, because you, you see, Arsenio doesn't have paperwork. He just has, he's just drinking hooch. Yeah, he's right. drinking the, hooch. All the other boys are the ones with the paperwork. I yeah, mean, they were tying him on, man. I mean, you can God. see these two, these two at the end are like looking over it like, they, you tell they already knew, like, this doesn't feel... Yeah, like something's not right. This is this. And he, uh, yeah, I mean, you sign or you, you sign or you die. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Take, your, take your time. Yeah. <laughs> they got scared. I burped. Yeah. <laughs> so, wow, that's so interesting for our viewers to know. So, Grimace started the opioid crisis. He did. And he also started a, a great deal of anti union unrest among the, the working class. Yeah. Damn. Which, uh, of course, led to Bloody Harland, uh, the, the coal mining revolts in 1930s mm -hmm. uh, in Harlan County, West Virginia. And which, uh, of course, escalated in um, the Harlan County Wars during the 1970s with a lot of these uh, strike breakers coming into rural areas that were striking and using brute force uh, with some of these scabs who they'd bust in from out of town to do uh, coal mining work, uh, which, of course, took food directly out of the mouths of some of the greatest working class heroes that this country's ever seen. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, man, it's just a lot of geopolitical bullshit. <laughs> it's just like he's got his grubby little nubbies in basically everything. Oh, my God. And, uh, so when people talk about the man, that's who they're talking about. They're talking about Grimace. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, yeah. And it explains the commercial with Trump. It explains it all. Yeah, he yeah he owns a lot of big towers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he loves big towers. So so Grimace hotels, that's him. Yeah, you know those big purple hotels everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, those gigantic I never, purple triangle hotels. I never made that correction before. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. They're made out of moss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grimace, yeah, I mean, yeah, beautiful structures. <laughs> wow, he owns. There's like thirty thousand of those. I know. Yeah, there's one in every town in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about profit for him. It's just about making the buildings as big as possible. Yeah, <laughs> just brand recognition. Yeah. Well, also, yeah. somebody you can fit in them. He's gigantic, man. I know. Yeah, he, yeah. That's back when it's actually at his smallest. He's seventy-five potatoes. Wow. Damn. But, uh, but men were smaller then. Men were smaller then. Yeah. Men were smaller you know, he's then. trying yeah. to betray himself as the man of the people. You got to slim down, even though he's about to really just screw them over. Here. I know. Yeah. It's yeah. Rough. Well, most men, they said, could fit in a cupboard back then. So. <laughs> mm, I have heard that as well. I think that was also Socrates. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what that, mo that book or movie, <laughs> Tiny People in a Cupboard. Indian cupboard. There's a book yeah. movie or a Disney movie. Indian in the Cupboard. In yes, that's yes, what it was. Yeah. Tiny Native American Indian boy in a cupboard. cupboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Native American in a cupboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next one, please. Tragic. Bro. Now. Oh, man. What's happening here? Hamburger Hill. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, Okinawa? <laughs> <laughs> I think this was. Uh, or Iwo Jima? Oh, Iwo Jima. Flight. Yeah, the, the, the Japanese name for Hamburger Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima, well, yeah. Iwo Jima means Hamburger Hill. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it means big victory, small burger. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a rough translation. In English, we really don't have the kind of words for it, but <laughs> big victory, small burger. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was him with Easy Company. Um, <laughs> and the fucking guys, man. God, it's so cool. So cool to think about. So yeah, these were basically his brothers, man. They were a band of brothers, and um, 
they were there in the Pacific, and he was, yeah, easy company, 41st Regiment, Screaming Eagles, mm -hmm. uh, out of Fort Benning. <laughs> yeah, he trained over Sergeant Slaughter, WWE wrestler, um, <laughs> and who was actually, yeah, a former drill sergeant. Good man. And Mari Tarlin. Mari Tarlin, scale, uh, skilled arrow. Air. <laughs> Just a skilled arrow guy? A skilled arrow guy. Yeah, okay. Uh, kind of a hawk guy. Uh, <laughs> kind of a hawk guy. And so, yeah, he he basically, he was a teetotaler uh, weapons-wise. So he was, this is, this is pre-gun. He didn't <laughs> use a gun until the Zodiac killings. So uh, that, that was when he finally kind of started getting into the gun stuff. Was he like afraid of the Zodiac killer? Was he, what was, what's, what's the, why yeah, did he Yeah, he was afraid. Yeah. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was dating Nancy Sinatra back then and they were wow. madly in love. Mm -hmm. And he was afraid because, you know, the Zodiac was killing a lot of lovers. Uh, yeah. So. And that's a public relationship. Mm -hmm. Very public, very public in the Zodiac <laughs> was, uh, yeah, he'd sent some stuff. I know they'd been in correspondence, so <laughs> he was afraid there's going to be a betrayal. But yeah, so he would, he would just punch back then. So he was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was, you know, there's a lot of stories of guys like coming across the battlefield and just seeing just bodies just beat to shit. <laughs> How many people did he, did he punch kill? Oh, fuck, man. 700, 400? <laughs> oh, my God. 700, 400, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's always good to overestimate them to turn back. But <laughs> 700, 35? I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he killed, a, he killed a good bit on all sides of the war. So he killed some Americans. <laughs> he killed some British. Also, he just sort of went into a rage when mm -hmm. he was in the, the battlefield? Imagine a Beyblade. If you will, <laughs> okay. picture if you will a Beyblade with with fists. <laughs> <laughs> so the government they wind his ass up with pervidan. So that stuff that's basically just meth, right? And they fucking drop it uh, like ecstasy style, drop it on his tongue, and he just -doo 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 -doo, and just <laughs> <laughs> just spinning around, just fucking wailing topside on him. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> wailing topside. So, so <laughs> as we talked about, this is a band of brothers. Uh, very famously, mm -hmm. in the HBO miniseries Band of Brothers, David Schwimmer played Grimace. Yes, he did. How, how <laughs> do you feel about the portrayal? Was it accurate? Do you think David took too many liberties? Like, how do you how do you feel about that? Great, great question. Is mm -hmm. that was a great question. I remember seeing that, and and, and I remember thinking, is that Grimace's character? And, uh, <laughs> and, um, and uh, well, in the credits, yeah, it's so funny. And it's, 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 yeah, David Schwimmer, Grimace. <laughs> oh, I guess that was Grimace. What the fuck? It's like not overtly obvious that he's supposed to be Grimace, but I suppose it would have been distracting, anyways, to kind of realism, but nothing realer than this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty spot on, man. Yeah, Grimace, he was a tough. Tough dude to to kind of be around, and he was a tough trainer, mostly because you didn't know what he wanted, <laughs> and so he kind of just like, boop, boop, bow. and uh, <laughs> you know, you didn't do it. You expect to spend a couple months in the brig. Oh, Leavenworth, <laughs> <laughs> ship your ass off, man. Good luck getting parole. He's busy. And now that's been all these years since since World War Two. How does Grimace feel about? Uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now that's been <laughs> that, that, that's been a lot of time. And has he seen Oppenheimer? Did he like the? Yeah, <laughs> both. Yeah, good, good, good follow up. That's a good question. So we were texting the other day about Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he thought it was pretty cool. Josh Peck was in it. <laughs> weird to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of like yeah, kind of return to form for him. <laughs> you know, famous, famously, he was such a great actor before, so it was good to see him get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Peck, we all you know loved his performances and Drake and Josh. <laughs> all that Amanda show um, yeah he fucking loved it he's a huge movie buff he founded the Garlalo school of camera work uh, in mm. Lexington Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky mm. yeah. so yeah famously the, filmed the one shot in Goodfellas yes it did mm -hmm. yeah and that tracking shot in True Detective season one season one no, <laughs> the drug dealer's house during the riot yeah that was Garlalo that was Grilala School of Camera Work. Uh, <laughs> God, Grimace has his hand in everything. I know. There's so many hours in the day, man. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> but he loved Band of Brothers. He's on the uh, committee for the Emmys, so he helped them get a couple awards. So. Oh, wow. 
But, but still, so how does he feel about Hiroshima and Nagasaki? <laughs> That's kind true. Of, I guess I kind of glazed over that. Yeah, it's not yeah, yeah, the question, yeah, really. Yeah, wait, 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 wait to hold his feet to the fire. Yeah, side. we got to these people accountable, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Um, I think he regrets it. Um, <laughs> he regrets it. I think he wished... Uh, I think he wished if he could go back, he would have just had a stern conversation with him. Oh, did he drop the bombs? Yeah. Oh, whoa. He was doing a kite runner thing. And, <laughs> and he had a couple fat boy, little boy, and he had the big bastards, and he saw an eagle, and he wanted to grab it, and he ended up, oh, <laughs> oh, and uh, oh, you know, no. like, yeah, he was kind of like trying to play it up, and everybody's, oh, no, like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Who let him play with the bombs? <laughs> and, um, yeah, man, he fucking it caught a backdraft and. <laughs> That's yeah. the sound of Hiroshima. And Nagasaki. <laughs> oh my god! Very scary. Tragic. Yeah, he, he regrets it though. I, I, we've talked about it ad nauseum. And, and uh, late nights, you know, cup of coffee. Pack of cigarettes type shit. The boys. Sitting on the fucking porch just watching the stars shine. <laughs> and uh, that's when you really get to know someone like mm-hmm. for who they really are. 100%. The Jesus thing he liked. Nagasaki, Hiroshima. Yeah, I could tell he he wished he could take it back, man. Damn. Damn. Just... Choices we make in this life. I know. Especially in our youth. Yeah. Uh, he was young. He was dumb. and full of cum. <laughs> So full of cum in this picture. Yeah. So cum ridden. <laughs> cum ridden. <laughs> Just bursting at the seams. <laughs> oh, wow. But uh, it's a day that will live in infamy. Yeah. You're right. Right. Next but. one, Val. No, <laughs> what's going? I, I, another famous David Schwimmer grimace p- p- portrayal. <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, we played a uh, Grimby Kardashian. Right? Yeah, Papa Grimbo. <laughs> so cool. So, yeah, this one. All right, I'll come out and say it. Grimby killed OJ's wife. Oh, oh my god. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Look, dude, I got nothing to lose at this point. I signed an NDA. I'm happy to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thrilled to talk about it. He killed Nicole Brown Simpson um, in a fit of rage. Uh, he thought that she was really smart. She had a pair of glasses on. And yeah, he just basically he hates just beat the daylights out of her. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, the waiter, uh, Grimace, brought him from a second location. He was tied up in a reservoir dog situation mm. where Grimby was kind of dancing around, cut his ear off. Hello. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> he cut his ear off and went. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and he ate it. So <laughs> twisted. So twisted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because she was smart and had glasses, and you know it's funny, you know that's true because you can tell, look at Johnny Cochran looking at him like, I don't trust this guy. Yeah, I'm like, go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust this. And look at OJ like, get him. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, OJ's like about to punch too. I like punching. <laughs> 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 yeah, he oh. was. Uh... So in the courtroom, if they had asked Grimace to put on the glove, it would have fit? <laughs> yeah, it was a four fingered glove. Yeah. <laughs> no one brought yeah, that up. I know. Yeah, of course it didn't fit OJ, but it's a four fingered glove. For the hand of a 7 1 <laughs> 800 Five, potato. 800 potato, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, do the math, Brainiac. Of course it's not going to fit, man. Oh, God. You couldn't even put a grocery bag over his foot. He's fucking size 25, you dummy. <laughs> Dumma. <laughs> Dumma. <laughs> Yeah, man, that trial was exhilarating. They got so close. <laughs> <laughs> they were like brothers by the end of it is awesome. Mm-hmm. Just seeing the way that they would look at each other and kind of you could just see it in their eyes. Like, God, this is a friendship that's going to last a lifetime. <laughs> like, oh, this is God. Awesome. Is there anything better than when you can just look at your boy and nothing needs to be said? You can just both laugh. <laughs> You can both just go, this is all crap. This is so stupid. Yeah, and you're both like, what were we doing? We, doing? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have to kill her. What? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool, man. Does, does Grimace still have the Bronco? Yep, 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 yep. Mm. yep. <laughs> He's got it. Yeah, he donated it, donated it to the Henry, Henry Ford Museum in Detroit. But uh, yeah, he's still got it, leather interior. 
<laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, he still got his skis in the back when he would go to Aspen, him and OJ. <laughs> and um, God, he's got the yeah, the surfboard on top. <laughs> as soon as he as, as he got acquitted, they went out and they they did the big wave. So. Oh, oh cool. wow! It's cool to just have friends like that. I know you that know? guy you could call and go, "Hey, be ready in ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going. We're going. Dude. We're going. We're going to Oceanside, and we're gonna fucking catch the big wave." Oh, that's beautiful. So now the tough question: uh-huh. Which grimmest David Schwimmer portrayal was better, the Hamburger Hill one or the OJ trial? Well, they're good for different reasons. Okay. You know, the Hamburger Hill I think was funnier. <laughs> but um, the OJ one I think had more sex appeal. So uh, I'd have to go with the OJ. I think it was because it was a well, they were both limited. Limited series. I mean, you got to see plenty of it, but yeah, I just think it was pretty cool getting to see him play Marsha Clark. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, he played both roles. He was Marsha <laughs> Clark and, <laughs> and Robert Kardashian. So. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I remember doing a double take watching it, going, "Is that also Grimmins?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was a real nutty professor situation, but yeah. with the other trial. Well, with yeah, the other yeah. trial, yeah, it was yeah. interesting. Interesting. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's wild, man. Yeah, it was funny. He, he, he was, it was cool watching that. <laughs> that was cool, man. That's awesome. Let's go to the next one, Val. I got a lot of respect for that. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yo, uh... You remember this day? Woo. Yeah, this wasn't one of his prouder moments. So, him and Kanye. <laughs> well, Griffiths, uh, he's been known as the Rick Rubin of the hamburger world. Mm-hmm. He produced uh, College Dropout mm-hmm. of and uh, helped write Gold Digger. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, baby, the baby ghost. <laughs> the baby ghost. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> it's one fifty-five. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah man this was one of the god I don't even want to even bring this up but yeah so Grimace and Kanye had a big falling out Kanye went on national television for uh, what were they even talking about Hurricane Katrina (laughs) 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 he's been a part of a lot of national tragedies (laughs) (laughs) really covering the gambit yeah Grimace broke the levees he thought they were fucking little goddamn little things of pudding so he bit into him (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he it was fucking no. rice pudding. He loves rice pudding. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. And it flooded the city, and then it's time to, somebody's got to pay the piper, you know. So he goes on TV. He was going to own up to it, and then Kanye calls him out for, like, some bullshit. Like, <laughs> like some made-up bullshit. Like, Grimace loves all people. And Kanye, <laughs> <laughs> like, Kanye yeah, like, said he doesn't like black people or whatever, and Grimace was <laughs> like, like he's like, no, 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 no. And that was the first time you kind of saw him be vulnerable in a way of like, oh my God, I'm being persecuted right now. Like in a way that I have done to so many others. Yeah. And mm-hmm. seeing him turn that cheek and go, God, is this what it felt like to be a Nagasaki? Like, he had a bomb dropped on him for the first time. Yes, yeah. he did. They <laughs> Yeah, the shoe was on the other size, 25 foot. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> as big as a grocery bag. Uh, yeah, man. So this is kind of the turning point. This is when he converted uh, to Branch Davidian. Yeah, after this, he oh. he went to uh, full David crash. Yeah, yeah, really? Like years after Waco? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? what do you, you know, when you kill someone, you make them a martyr. Yeah, that's so, a good point. Uh, full circle. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, when he... Yeah, he settled down after this, started a little homestead, mm-hmm. and then, yeah, played, continued playing in the NBA during this era. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, of course, of course, of just course. Looking at the timeline here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make sure I got all my cards straight. <laughs> <laughs> yep, all my eggs That's are in a row. So interesting because you hear the people in New Orleans say all the time uh, that they heard the bombs, <laughs> and it was just Grimace yeah. taking a bite. Yeah, the levees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Then he'd get blown up, and then he'd float back down. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, my one. god! Yeah. What? What did he realize? Yeah. Like, oh, I've kind of fucked this up. Yeah. What? When did he realize that? Yeah. Probably around Levy Six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After the, you know what, what do they say? Fool me five times. You got me good. Fool me six times. You flood New Orleans. <laughs> you flood New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <man. laughs> okay. Um, A lot of Socrates in this. Everyone knows that scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Next one, Val. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. This was one of the most badass things he's done recently. <laughs> <laughs> he um, he'd been carrying on with Jada Pickett Smith <laughs> in a public, rather public fashion. <laughs> And, you know, Will wasn't going to do anything about it. He wasn't ready to stand up for her. Yeah. And uh, so Chris, you know, starts running his mouth. And Grim has uh, <laughs> had been sleeping in a little nest in the rafter <laughs> like an owl. And um, as soon as he heard it, I mean, you saw the footage. Yeah. yeah. It, you just see the rappel line drop. Yeah, how fast he gets down <laughs> is impressive. Like, sting. <laughs> 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 yeah, he, he, oh he'd been sleeping up there for months because uh, he lost his home in the fires and mm. the LA fires and right, of course Beverly Hills fires and yeah so he came down there and just beat the holy hell out of him Helen Mirren had to come up and stop him <laughs> and, uh, she's always been like a motherly figure to him <laughs> she's she able did. to coax him away yeah how did how did Helen Mirren sort of end up in that role yeah, well, I guess it started at the orphanage. So he was, um, <laughs> he goes through prolonged periods of Benjamin Buttons uh, where, you know, he doesn't exactly age, but he'll take on a, sort of an infantile appearance mm -hmm. for several months, sort of a coping mechanism to deal with his traumatic childhood, um, working in um, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Magdalen laundries in Ireland mm -hmm. where <laughs> women would be forced to work for no pay. And this was Grimace's whole upbringing. He was uh, working in these slots and mats. <laughs> um, another thing you could Google, these Magdalene laundries, and it was just horrible what he was put through. And so he's living in this uh, <laughs> big diaper uh, in this little uh, fucking orphanage. It's just him and six other dudes and who were also wearing adults in diapers. And Helen Mirren was the nurse, and she was 18 years old, and she raised Grimace uh, mm -hmm. as her own, Ken, and mm -hmm. taught him to drive NASCAR. Oh, so, Really? Cool. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what? I, yeah, I, I I have heard that Grimace <laughs> was on the track when Dale Earnhardt died. How was? Yep. How did Grimace react to that? Yep. Because he was in the back of the pack. That's sort of the <laughs> end of his career. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, you know, you can see in the footage he pulls off. He pulls off to, just to show his respects and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he did. That was cool. I thought I thought that was really cool. Yeah, <laughs> that was a cool <laughs> moment. That was like yeah, it's sport. sports. <laughs> kind of helping him towards the finish line. And the fucked up part is if you see that the end of the video, Grimace pulls him out, Earnhardt, and the, the medics are like, no, no, like, don't move him, don't move him. And, and, and Grimace goes like, what do you do? Like, like, he's going to finish this race. And he just drags him by his hair and just drags him to the finish line and tosses him over. <laughs> like, stop moving him, stop moving him. <laughs> He's like, this guy's a fucking hero, man. He's finishing this race. I won't, I won't hear another word about it. <laughs> they say that's kind of what pushed it over the line. Like, he probably would have lived. Oh, Sad my race. God. Oh, and my God. It's awful. It's so tragic. Yeah. <laughs> think about that. How it could have been prevented. My favorite thing about this situation is all the social media tweets and memes after mm -hmm. of like what did chris rock think grimace was coming up there to do yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. what, what, yeah. like why did chris rock like what did you think grimace was about to yeah do? like what, what, what's on, my dude. favorite what do you tweet? think what do you think chris rock is thinking as he watches grimace pr pr come down <laughs> from the ceiling you think he's gonna come give you a hug <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, no not a chance dude not a chance yeah. no He's got hate in his eyes and a smile on his heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can see the hate right there. It's so oh clear. My God, I can't believe he accidentally killed Dale Earnhardt. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, pretty killed upsetting. <laughs> so, by his hair. I, mean, I know, that, just drug him. Grimace, I know how human hair. Yeah. I don't think he gets how it works. Oh, the fucked up the, the thing is, is there was three laps left. So he, did, <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he did three laps. <laughs> It took, God, I mean, it took half an hour. Oh mile-long laps. You know. 
<laughs> oh my God. They tried to stop him every time he'd come around. They said, please. He goes, <laughs> Two more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> He's a stickler for the rules. Oh. <laughs> Next one, though, please. Oh, that's so tragic. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> not what I was expecting. <laughs> That's me. That's baby Casey. Um, cats out of the bag. This is what you were once a baby. I was once a baby. As you can see, I had the same disease as Grimace. I had four oh, fingers. I had four fingers. Oh wow. my god! It's a wart. I had a wart. <laughs> that OG glove wart. would have fit you. I know. Yeah, it would have, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh? Uh, yeah, I have my classic Lion King shirt on. I used to love the Lion King. But yeah, that was that was Garlo. animated movie. Animated movie didn't really happen. No, I told you this last night. Yeah, and you seemed a little confused. The lion and the pig were friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but again, animated movie. All I can really say about it is it seemed like the lion and the pig were pretty good friends. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> that's kind of all I care to comment on. But <laughs> the lion and the pig and the witch in the wardrobe, <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> Grimace was my pillow until I was 19 years old. And oh, oh, my God. So no matter where he was and no matter what he was doing, every night I would hear the wind chimes blow on the patio, and I would hear the squelch of his feet in the kitchen, and he would rub um, Tony Sasseries in his wounds mm -hmm. to kind of season himself. Mm -hmm. And he would turn the shower on full blast hot, and plug the drain and let it flood the bathroom. <laughs> and, 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 and he would kind of gnaw on the wiring behind the TV. And that's how I knew when the lights would flicker. I'd go, he's home. Oh. And I would lift my head without saying a word. And he would <laughs> put his big fat ass under my head. And I'd sleep right there on his belly. And... Uh, we did that till I was 19. Oh, so the, <laughs> oh my God. So the night that he dragged Dra Dale Earnhardt around, <laughs> they told him five, three times for three laps. <laughs> did he smell like a little asphalty? Like, yeah. were you able to smell like. Yeah, it smell like tar. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I went, something's not up. And the TV wouldn't work because he really did a number on the wires that night. So I oh. couldn't kind of see what was going on. And I could see in his eyes like he lost somebody. <laughs> like something happened, man. Yeah. And I go, Gigi. I call him Gigi. And I go, Gigi, talk to me. He goes, Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> Which means uh, all good things must must pass. Must, yeah. Must pass. Yeah, when you lose someone close to you like that, it stays on you forever. Yeah, you you carry that bag around with you. And, uh, like like a body around a lap. Yeah, like a body around <laughs> the Daytona. <laughs> like a body around the Daytona 500. You carry that. You and it carry never that. really goes away, man. Never really goes away. But the next day, yeah, it was he was as good as new. He was totally over it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a one night deal. But <laughs> he's got a very short memory. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, he's good as new. Oh, I believe we have one more. Do we have one more? No, I think that's the last. Was one. it the last one? Oh, that's the last one. So special. Oh my God! Thank you, Casey, for helping us just, <laughs> just really learn, grow, uh, just be better. Just be better people overall. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm a better man. I feel like I, I know myself more. <laughs> Knowing Grimace, you know, well, like, it's like what Kanye West said: "Loving Kanye really just means you love yourself." Yeah. What, yeah. what is Grimace? But if, if not a reflection on all of us mm -hmm. at once, you know, that's uh, that's sort of how yeah. I look at him. They call him the Great Prism, the Purple Prism. <laughs> <laughs> He's a refractor of all emotion. Oh. Happiness goes in. Smile, frown, tear, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Important to think about, Casey. Thank you so much for coming on, dude. Thank you. That so was fun talking with you guys. So much fun. That was a lot of fun. You were the best. Happy to talk, Big G, anytime. Oh <laughs> God, we'll have you back, and we'll we'll learn so much more. I, I guarantee that. Yeah. Uh, guys, go follow Casey Rocket everywhere. He, he you go listen to him on his podcast, William Montgomery, and, and watch him on Kill Tony. He's the fucking man. Casey, we love you. You're the best, dude. Thank you. So Thanks fun, for coming, guys. Brother. Casey, appreciate it.